When you're frying an egg, you want to use an egg that's as fresh as possible. The fresher the egg, the better the final results. You also want to take the egg out the fridge at least half an hour before you're going to cook it. What I have then did, I took some kitchen paper and simply wiped a small non-stick frying pan with some groundnut oil. A lot of people use a lot of oil when they're frying an egg, but I find that just causes the egg to spread out over the pan and affects presentation, if not the actual cooking of the egg. What I've then done is got the pan coming up to a fairly high heat. We can test that by putting our hand, not on it, but just a few inches above it and we should feel it really pretty hot. That's to get the egg cooking as soon as it hits the pan and help it keep its shape as it cooks. So we have the egg here broken into a small bowl. That makes it much easier to pour evenly into the frying pan rather than breaking it straight into the pan. It also means you're not going to get any pieces of errant shell um, in the pan and the cooked egg. So what I'm going to do, just before the egg goes into the pan, I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of white paper. Um, you can use black if you like, I just think white paper looks a little bit better in the cooked egg. And then we're ready to put our egg into the pan. Now I've got a spatula standing by here. Um, that's just in case I need to help the eggs find its shape when it goes into the pan. So very carefully and gently, we take the egg and pour it into our pan. So it starts cooking almost immediately. It's now going to hold its shape. Oh, a little bit running off the side here. We can just shape it like that. This is actually quite a large egg. Um, so what I do, now that it's holding shape, I turn the heat right down, right down to very low. The pan will still be very hot of course, but it'll cool down and the egg will cook more gently. And while the egg is frying, I'll arrange the accompaniments and I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Okay, here we are just a couple of minutes later and I've left the egg alone, not moved it about the pan or anything, just left it to cook while I was arranging the dish that I'm going to serve the egg on. What you're looking for with an egg, it is ready when you can see, you won't probably be able to see on the video, but if you look closely when you're frying the egg for yourself and make sure that the white is set all the way around the very edge of the yolk, that's when you know that the, the egg is cooked and it's nice and soft, sunny side up, ready for serving. So what I've got here, I've got some leftover sausage and vegetable casserole. This was a dish I made last night for my meal and I'm having the leftovers for lunch today with my fried egg. You can find the recipe for this in one of my blogs. Um, I'll post the link in the description for the video if you want to find out how to make the casserole. So what I do again, I'll get my spatula and go back to the frying pan, working one-handed here. I'll bring this dish as close as I can to the pan and lift my egg carefully onto the top of the casserole. And there we go, spicy sausage and Mediterranean vegetables casserole with a perfectly fried sunny side up egg. <laughs> 